After 10 years of the kicker being around, Wahoo have now released the sixth generation of its ever popular turbo trainer. But that's not all. The kicker bike has also seen some updates to give us the second generation of this indoor training beast. Now, as you look at the new offerings, you may be thinking that they look pretty similar to the old ones, and you'd be right, they do strike an uncanny resemblance, but that's because the new features can be found on the inside. A lot of the new features found on the Kicker bike can also be found on the Kicker trainer, so let's get into them. First up, and what is arguably the biggest feature which Wahoo are shouting about, is the addition of Wi-Fi connectivity. Now, there's a number of reasons why this will come in handy. First up, it does provide a rock-solid connection between the trainer and whatever training platform you're using, and it also allows for lots of data to be transferred very quickly. Wahoo have claimed that your on-screen stats should show up 65% faster than before, which in theory should make workouts more seamless and e-racing more precise. Wi-Fi connectivity should also help in pairing all types of different devices and could end up negating the need for AMP Plus or a Bluetooth connection. And that should mean that it puts an end to connection dropouts. An added bonus of Wi-Fi is that troubleshooting should be much easier as Wahoo's customer support team can communicate directly with the trainers themselves. That also means that firmware updates can run automatically, meaning that you don't have to do anything and you're always running the latest software. Next up, Wahoo have introduced Erg mode. Now, what this means is that whenever you get onto the trainer and start riding, there'll be kind of a gradual 10 second build up, allowing you to ease into the cadence and kind of match the power that's needed. Now, this is going to be especially useful if you have to jump off the bike midway through a workout. Maybe you need to grab a drink, plug your laptop in, answer the door, and then when you jump back on, you can ease back into the effort. Now, I think this will be a pretty welcome addition because we've all had to jump off the bike and then jump back on and then push off from a gear, that's just a bit too hard. So being able to spin up to cadence and ease yourself in gently is going to be a whole lot nicer. On to the next update, which can be found on both new offerings, and that is the inclusion of an odometer. Now, at first, I didn't really think that that was a worthwhile addition to be making, but Wahoo have said that really knowing how much use a turbo trainer has had can be a tricky thing to find out, especially if it's shared across a few riders. So by being able to see the mileage from the units themselves, it will give you a good gauge on whether or not it's worth sending in for servicing. Plus, for those of you who might think about one day selling it or even buying a second-hand turbo, knowing exactly how much mileage and use the units have had is quite a valuable piece of information. Now, in terms of updates for the Kicker Trainer, that's where they end. However, for the bike, there are a couple of extra small features that they've built in. First being a maximum of two and a half thousand watts of resistors, which to be honest, you'd be doing insanely well to get anywhere near. Secondly, Wahoo have also added in a direct connect feature, so you can hardwire the bike into your electronic devices and negate the need for a wireless connection, should you wish. Some of you may remember that back in April of this year, Wahoo acquired the Zwift competitor company RGT and then renamed it Wahoo RGT. Now, this has gone on to make up one half of Wahoo X, with the other half being Wahoo System, which was formerly known as Sufferfest. Now, in the lead up to the hardware release, I've been questioning how exciting these new updates from these new trainers actually are. However, I've been led to believe that while they may not seem super exciting right now, it's the pairing of the software and the hardware which is where things will start to come alive. I think we could see something pretty big coming from Wahoo X in the coming months to really take the fight to Zwift and create an even more immersive experience. What I want to hear from you guys is, what do you think that could be? Do leave all your thoughts and ideas down in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you again very soon.